Hello, my wonderful friends. Meg is here. I have a beautiful video for you guys today. It's all about Asha, the perfect creators, perfect thought, heaven on earth. Real quick, though, I, I wanted to ask you, if you love having a Zoroastrian channel here, please help me keep it alive. Little things like hitting that like button, make sure you've subscribed, and most important, share this with someone so we can get this message of Zoroaster Ahura Mazda, the all good spirit to the world. I love you. Please enjoy. If you're new to this channel and wondering what is Asha, what is a beautiful day in Asha? Asha is the perfect creator's perfect thought. It's heaven on earth. It's the real above all that seems so real and so scary. It's good. This real this good, it's the only thing that could come from a perfect creator's perfect mind and everything else is lie and illusion. So Magus, how do we live in that Asha? How do we live in that Vohumenu, that God mind, that God thought, that good thought? So simple. You do it with a good thought, with a God thought through the God mind that is in you. How will I know, Magus? Because it's only good. Asha too says, no, only good. You know the original monotheistic religion, Zoroastrianism? God was just good. He was unmixed. Matter of fact, Zoroaster means pure starlight. It's undefiled, undiluted, unmixed. It's not good and bad. It's not love and hate. It's not peace and war. It's just good. It's just Asha, the perfect creator's perfect idea. The only thing that could come from his heart is a loving parent. And we can attune ourselves to that. When this was written to know it meant to be, to know, like a man would know his wife. The two would become one. You become good. You be good. Good thoughts, good words, good deeds, unmixed. It's that Zoroaster pure starlight that the Magi follow. Where's that star, Magus? How can I follow it? That light, that frequency is in your heart of hearts. And you'll know it. Because it's only good. No, only good. It goes on to say, perceive and understand only the good and let your experience and practice be the same. Be aware at all times of your high standing. Always remember the covenant written on your mind that you might not forget you are a child of the King. So much to unwrap here. What we perceive and understand and know is what we will experience. So we must be aware at all times of our high standing, our, our high frequency. We don't allow ourselves to go in those low frequencies and to anger and hate. We stay in the love. We create the atmosphere with the peace and joy that we bring. It says there's a covenant written on your mind. Here we're talking about the God mind, that vohu menu that is in you, that comes from good spirit and is made of good spirit and is good spirit. It's in you. That star to follow, that frequency to attune yourself with, that truth to align with, it's right here in the God mind. And you'll know it because it's only good. You are a child of the King. The most powerful force is love and is good. That's what you are. That's your DNA. That's your birthright. So we attune ourselves to that. We say, is the Magi that were, are, and shall be. Asha is. That's our foundation. 
Asha, good is our foundation. And there's an evolution that takes place from that where it gets gooder and gooder, godder and godder, more beautiful. It's already beautiful. It's already perfect. Megas, how can it get more perfect if it's already perfect? I don't know, but I like it. Think as high as you can, as good as you can, and there's still room to go to that highest principle of God good. Asha is. Would you say that with me? Asha is. Love is. Peace is. And joy is. And a beautiful future is. I love, love, love you. <laughs>